What's up, YouTubers, one and all? My name is Fate1987, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Transformers Earth Spark Deluxe Class Wave 3 Grimlock. They, uh, as of the recording of this video, not only do we only need Nightshade left to complete the collection, but they just revealed a Deluxe Class Starscream, which I will be getting. Because. Just like this one, it is a different molded version of the, um, just like this Grimlock, it is a molded version of the, um, different painted and different molded of the Cyberverse mold for both Grimlock and, well, I mean, we got the, the uh, Shockwave where we had, that was a straight up repaint, and, uh, it looks like the Star Screen will be a repaint as well. But again, the Cyberverse molds that they've been pulling out for this line is a lot better, and I'm glad that I picked the Earth Spark versions over the original because, God, the paint on Starscream and Grimlock suck. So, this Grimlock's better, and yes, you got the back of the box, the obligatory product shot. With, with all of this now, and uh, yes, Starscream comes with a Nova Storm arm, this basically means that all we need is Nightshade. And Nightshade has the body of Mandroid. So yes, we will be building Mandroid when this thing, when we actually get Nightshade. That's it for the packaging. So let's open them up and open Grimlock up, who, might I add, was really good inside the Earth Spark season um, finale, uh, the last eight episodes. I still got to upload those to YouTube. They'll probably be uploaded by the time that I get this vi um, vi review on YouTube. But let's open it up and see how cool he actually is. It is the review you've all been waiting for after a long time. Because again, this is about like a month after I purchased the figure. This is also the hardest Earthspark figure to transform because of the tail. This is Earthspark Grimlock and... I'm going to lower the camera. This is a little bit too tall still. And it still needs to focus. There we go. So this is Earthspark Grimlock. And despite the fact that this guy is hard to transform, I love this figure. I really do. He also comes with... The second to last Build-A-Figure part. Mandroid's right leg. Yeah. Um. How do I put this? I don't know why Nightshade has the body. But, I mean, that's the only part we have left at this point. The body. And, uh, Nightshade still isn't out yet. Which just sucks. And again, I'm saying this, at the same time, we have the, um... The... What's it call it? The... We recently, again, um, not sure you saw it last time with the Jawbreaker review, but we recently got the news of Wave 5 of Deluxe Class um, Earthspark. And quite frankly, it's a little bit alarming because uh, there's no hashtag in there. We need a hashtag figure Hasbro. Why aren't you doing one? I love my PTSD internet girl. Okay, that sounds so wrong. I the, Someone's going to clip that for sure. I just know it. I just know it. Well, then again, barely anyone even watches my channel, so I guess it's not that not that bad when I think about it but still someone's gonna come around and say what the heck do you mean like I I don't I love her platonically I love her as like like a like she's a child all right don't think god damn just gonna get demonetized for damn sure I I know it. I just know it but uh yeah articulation wise uh, also you got a new weapon and, by the way, this is basically a repaint slash retool of the Cyberverse Grimlock Deluxe Class. Same as that transformation. But it's so freaking different. So much that 
I'm never getting that figure, and I'm keeping this one. Because this is my definitive Grimlock. For Earthspark, at least. Um, if I were to get another Grimlock, I would have to get the um, Byway Oversized Grimlock. Yes, I'm planning to get that one day, but uh, not today. Also, on top of that, um, I guess we could throw in a very, very spoilerish size comparison. And I mean very spoilerish. Because this is for an upcoming review. I have one day. Not today, though. Not today while I'm doing this recording session. But, uh... I'm not... Look, I'm not pointing the camera up. But, uh, yeah. I have this guy. Maybe upgrades coming one day. Who knows? But, uh... Yeah, take that hint as you will. Now, for real uh, comparisons, here it is. Here he is with. Well, let's bring in. Pretty much every character so far that was inside of episode 19 with him. So, yay. Uh, put that to the side. Then we have Shockwave. Twitch. Prime. Did I show Shockwave with Jawbreaker? Yeah, I did. I did. And Megatron. So, here we have that. Good god, my room's getting cluttered by the freaking minute. And, since this is Beast, let's uh, compare with, say, a Voyager class, being Primal. Or another Voyager class that I kind of teased a while back inside of my Kanex review. Yeah, just, 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 let, just let, let me point this out right now. This is not the scale. And then again, this same teaser from before. Yeah, that's for the leader class. I'm not showing anything else, alright? Now, I'm not sure if you guys still want to see other things, but, uh... I mean, there's that. So, in terms of articulation, uh, head can move up and down. Uh, jaw can open. And it's like, it's really well done. I really do like the paint. Arms cannot move, just like the um, Cyberverse. I really wish they could have put like a small ball joint here or something. Uh, legs go in and out because these are the arms. And uh, they can go in and out as well. They can turn. Uh, has kind of like feet articulation, I guess. In a way. And no tail articulation because that's just pure static plastic. So, that is it for Grimlock, and then, if you really wanted to, I can just put down every single piece of Mandrobe we have at the moment. So you know that we are just needing Nightshade to complete this fucker. And by the time he's done, he's gonna be the size of a deluxe class, I can tell. So, we have his robot arms, even though this is very freaking inaccurate, and the Starscreen toy comes with it, which is uh, very morbid, considering the fact that in episode 21, he was working with the Seekers. Um, we have the head, we have the legs, and we have the arm. So, yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven... And then possibly another 8 because of uh, this. I mean, it would have been better if they just turned this, like, like, what if they made, like, a, um, build-a-figure Nova Storm? 
or hardtop. I, I don't know. I really don't. Oh, and all. Uh, there's his weapon back. It can plug into the back right here. Just give it a little bit more of that weaponry. Just real more of that awesome feel. So, uh, there's that. Ah, shit, I forgot to show you the, uh, the instructions for Grimlock. He's got uh, something, he's got more steps. And, uh, these steps are rough, let me tell you. They are rough. It gets complicated. And especially when turning them back to dino mode, it can get really hard. This is... Possibly the hardest figure of the Earth Spark line. So, there's that. To transform Grimlock. Okay. First, take the weapon off. Grimlock is a little bit tough to transform. I'm going to say that right now. So, first, what you want to do is essentially just... Kind of transform the arms already, and just flam them out, flam them out, and bring them all the way out, just like that. You're going to come here to the tail, and you're just going to split it, alright? You're going to split all of it. You're going to come here to the front, you're going to lift the head up, and you're going to take that out, and this is all going to come down. This back here is a little bit trickier, we'll deal with it in a moment. So let's deal with this leg. You want to spin this down, bring this up like so, and all this going to collapse in here. Well, make sure you have to have it straight. Like, straight enough to actually go into one of these slots right here. Or not, I guess. I don't freaking know. Well, there we go. Yes, that works. It's like, now it actually does work for his little leg, so... See, now it works. So, then you're going to spin it this way. And you're going to bring this whole foot section down like so. That is the leg all done. This leg is a little bit more difficult. Because you have to take it out of all of this. It is this part here that makes transformation back to dino mode hell so you're gonna do the same thing i'm going to twist this down lift this section all the way up and push it back in there like so make sure it snaps into place realign the leg spin it and twist it so that's almost all the dynamo done. Last thing you need to do is flay these out. And then you have this tab here. This does not stay, by the way. You're going to click into here. And it can be kind of a pain sometimes. Angle these back however you want. And uh, this head just kind of just lays there. Like It really doesn't do anything. Lay it flat like that. And with all that said, there's Grimlock in his robot mode. And despite how hard it is to transform back and forth, I love this figure. Like, this is one of my favorite Earthspark figures. Despite the fact that the difficulty has been ramped up more than I thought it would. We take a close look here at the face. At the face. 
Thank you. So, that's really good. I, I really do appreciate the detail that they put on this. Uh, we can angle these back as much as we can. Fucking tend to not be a... Thank you. Anyways, articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, so it can look, for, look left to right, up and down, and that tabs back, that... And, uh, this, this is gonna give you some troubles. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm sorry. So, uh, shoulders go in and out. A ball joint at the elbow. Wrist like that. Uh, leg can go back and forth. It can do the full splits. Has a thigh swivel, has a waist swivel. Nice. And leg articulation. Knees can bend less than 90 degrees. And uh, ankle tilt and pivot, so there's that. And then, uh, you see this tab here? I don't know why it's here, but I guess it's to make sure that this actually stays. Because there are, like, slots here. And once you peg it in... I gotta do this right without... Once you peg it in, it's going to stay in there. And I really do like this. Now, he still doesn't have a sword. But then again, he wasn't using a sword in Earth Spark. And Keith David, I don't really think is the best voice for Grimlock. It took me a little bit by surprise. But for what he does in his show, I think it's really good. Sonic Paris for Grimlock. Let's bring in... Well... Yeah, because uh, these two were a duo quite a few times in the final episodes of Season 1. Although he was to blame for half of his bullshit. Not sorry. Uh, I just get on this to Primal, because why not? Eh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, how do you scale next to a spoiler? I think that scales pretty well. It's not too big, but it's fine enough. If you guys know what the spoiler is, leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, let's just put in Optimus. Bumblebee, Megatron. Oh, you can see how that looks. Shockwave, Alita, Thrash. And Twitch. And now all I'm waiting for is just Nightshade at this point. Yeah, none of these are to scale, but I don't really care at this point. And, uh, that's really it. So. No, wait, hold up, leader class. Again, someone that I've been missing for a while. I haven't actually gotten him out in a long time, but, uh, there you go. Jetfire. And then, two funsies, just because it's IDW-based. This thing would actually stay. Okay. I somehow lost a leg for this guy, but, uh, half the leg for this guy, but, uh, essentially... Overlord? Yes, you thought I sold this thing? No, it's back. Because I might actually get the other two in the upscale version. So it's more of a deluxe than a Legends. But yeah, I got him. 
And then I had this guy for a while. I ain't getting him up because he's such a good, good, per good, good figure. So, uh, yeah, there we. You stand, please. Stand. Stop toppling over. Stand. There we go. You'll know the significance of these two if you read the IDW comment. Specifically, Morta meets the um, Lost Light, I think. Yeah, Lost Light. You'll, you'll know the significance for sure. And then if you really wanted to, well, I mean, I guess you could just tell them fuck off with this. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it does not look good at all. But, uh, yeah. Now we just get back to... Ah, fuck it. I like this leader class anyway. Hint, hint. You really should focus on a new face, you know. So, uh, yeah. Now let's turn back to transform. No, wait, hold up. Hold up. Core class. Yep. Anyways, now let's turn back to transformation. So, transform Grimlock. First we want to do... Take the weapon off and just turn his arms into feet. That's it. This is the easiest part of transformation. This, all of this isn't. So, you're going to untab this and bring the arms forward, per se. And you're just going to leave it like that. You're not going to do anything else with it. We're going to lurk on the legs. So, you're going to... Which one do I want to do first? So you want to first spin this around 90 degrees so that the crotch is facing to the left of Grimlock. Like this. So this allows you to spin this around. And spin the tail around and then actually... Don't pop it out the ball joint. Don't do that. You need to spin it around on the swivel. And then this just has to spin upwards like so. Bring this down and then you're going to extend this foot. You're just going to look like that for now. And uh, make sure you have it aligned properly. So, you're going to leave that like that for now. You're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to extend. You're going to spin. You're going to spin this all the way around like so. And this is kind of where you have to tab this part in first. Yes, I say tab the tail in first. Of all things. Because this part is really tricky. You essentially need to tab. Well, first of all, you need to bring this forward enough. So that just got collapsed out over there. But essentially, you're going to need to push all of this leg into here and... This is tricky because you have this piece, this crotch piece, as trying to get over here. It is really tricky. But I suggest you do this part first. And it is really tricky because you are basically trying to force plastic where it cannot go.
I've done this a few times before, and it's always the same exact thing. It's always so scrappy to deal with. You have to force it. I hate it. Like, this black part is really getting in the way of this crotch piece. That's how bad it is. Give me a moment. Okay, I figured out the trick. So, you need to push this down and you need to make sure that it isn't pushed in all the way. You need to make sure it isn't like this. You need to essentially extend it like so. And then this is going to allow you a lot more clearance. And gently force your way around it until Or not. Okay, so you need to have it at a good angle enough. And then just tab this in. And click this into place. You're done with the tail. This part is arguably easier. So you need to do a little bit of finagling. You essentially need to undo the head. And push this all the way to a certain point until you get the foot aligned in there. It can be a little bit tricky. You have these two big tabs you essentially need to align these tabs with. And considering the fact that this isn't exactly balanced, you can get where... Oh, easy. And then just essentially push the head down. And we're done. That transformation took a lot longer than it should have. But you can tell that's why this is one of the hardest Transformers toys for Earth Spark. That's Grimlock in his dino mode and the end of review. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. The next review is going to be of Studio Series number 80 Brawn. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And as always, to all I want. If you get this figure, please use patience with it. Please.